We have now created in our coordinate system a new option called associative coordinate system. If we take a look at the definition options, you'll see that our first option is called select associative face. And we also have down here, auto location top for place coordinate system origin two. Auto location means very simple. If I were to just click on a surface, say this one over here, the coordinate system will automatically go to the closest point on top in the corner. If I were to also click, click on a cylinder, it'll go to the center of that cylinder. Let's first start with clicking on the cylinder and let's see what happens. Click on the cylinder and you can see it goes to the top of the part in the center of the cylinder. You'll also see that in our fields for the coordinate system, we can see the face that we picked and we can see that the origin is placed at the X, Y cylinder over here. You can also see that our Z level is chosen automatic. Now let's go back over here and instead of picking that cylinder, let's pick this face over here. If we pick that face, it'll go to the very top corner that is closest to that face. Now it'll also automatically jump to our direction X or Y. I always like to pick an X or Y direction. In this case, I will click on this surface and you can see that surface now populates this field. You can see also now that our pick origin is exactly at that point. You see everything in the fields, everything is completely visible. If I want to make changes, for example, I want to pick a different origin, not a problem at all. If I want to pick it on a point, it'll go to that point. Pick it on a different point, it'll go to that point as well. And as you can see, that point is also associative. I can go back and say, um, I want to pick it on the my XY origin to be in the center of this cylinder. Click on that cylinder, it'll move to that cylinder. I also have control of my Z level. I can say I want my Z level to be at the top of the part. Instead of moving it up inside my modify, it'll move to the part. So you see all of these fields are associative. If I click on any of these fields, you'll also see what are the fields that I use to get to these points. We have now updated our levels page from our coordinate system to be associative. As you can see, every field is an associative field. For example, if we have our tool start level and we also take a look at our part, we also have a clamp here. I may not necessarily know where the top of this clamp is, but I do know that I would like to have the uh, upper levels above that clamp. So if I go to my tool start level and just click on the top of that clamp, you'll see that it shows up over here and it is associated. Added to that, we have the tool start level delta. So I can say I want my delta at 100 millimeters. So it will always be 100 millimeters to the top of that clamp. If this clamp changes in thickness, this will always be 100 millimeters above whatever that thickness is. Same thing with my clearance level. I'm going to go to my clearance level, click at the top of the clamp, and just add another, say, 10 millimeters on top of that clamp. Part the upper level, click on the surface. You can see it's associative. If I go back to any of these fields, you can also see exactly what I chose. Part lower level, I can pick on an edge, not just a point. I can pick on an edge and that edge will show up as associative. Same thing with the tool Z level, top of the clamp, value on top of that, and it's all done. When I accept this, 
You can see all of this inside my coordinate system manager. We have our tool start level, and it shows also the delta that you put above it, the clearance level, upper level, lower level, and of course the tool Z level.